Nathan and Nicholas Alexander, Lulu Delacry. One night, while Nathan was fast asleep, some very strange noises came out of his toy chest, and when Nathan peeped inside, something bit his trunk. Nicholas Alexander had arrived. Nathan and Nicholas Alexander by Lulu Delacry One night While Nathan was fast asleep Some very strange noises came out of his toy chest. Swish, swish, swish. Brum, clack, pop, click, bang! So he turned on the light and took a big breath. Then he crept towards the toy chest. peeped inside. Ouch! Nathan cried after receiving a painful bite on his trunk. Excuse me, sir, but you quite frightened me. Besides, don't you know it's in very bad taste to enter someone's home without knocking first? But that is my toy chest, Nathan replied. I've just moved in, so if you don't mind, now it's my house as well. And by the way, let me introduce myself properly. My name, sir, is Nicholas Alexander. I come from a family that lived among kings, dwelt in high castles and told tales to the queen of fairies and dragons. I know quite a lot, sir. I don't care, Mr. Alexander, where you came from, said Nathan. This is my toy chest. Oh, please call me Nicholas. And now, I really must do my cleaning before the night is over. Nicholas Alexander dusted, swept and polished. He was quite pleased with what he saw. This toy chest is mine, he cried. Couldn't you share it with a friend? No, shouted Nathan. And he pushed Nicholas Alexander across the room. Then Nathan looked inside the toy chest. It was divided into two equal parts. Over each hung a tiny sign with beautiful gold letters. One side said, Nicholas Alexander. The other said Nathan. Nathan read his name letter by letter. I like it, he said. Mr Alexander really does know quite a lot, he thought. Maybe it would be nice to have him as a friend. He could show me how to write my name in teeny tiny letters, really fancy ones with gold ink. He could help me with my homework, and I could show him how to do puzzles. We could even read my books together. Mr Alexander... I mean, Nicholas. I'm sorry I got angry, said Nathan. That's quite all right, sir. It happens to the best of friends. Then would you still like to be my friend? asked Nathan. Of course, said Nicholas. I think we shall get on quite well. Now about the fishing trip I've planned for tomorrow morning. A fishing trip? cried Nathan. I've never been on a fishing trip before. Just one of the many things we'll be doing together, said Nicholas. It's late now, and your toys need putting away. Together they picked up the puzzle pieces, collected all the toys, and put them neatly into Nathan's side. 
It was well into the night. A full moon shone in the sky. They were both rather sleepy. It had been quite an evening. As Nathan snuggled into bed, he whispered across the room, Nicholas, this is not the end of a dream, is it? No, said a muffled little voice. No, sir, this is the beginning of an extraordinary friendship.